Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 5 brawlers inside of basketball. So, obviously, I've not had a chance really to play it too much, but these are going to be my guesses as to what you're going to be needing to push on basketball. It looks like a really fun mode. Can't wait to get into it. So, before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code if you're looking to pick up anything in the shop. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, so going into number 5 on the list, it's going to be Tara. So, I believe it's going to be a lot of tanks on this game mode so tara from respawn a lot of the times you're gonna have her super just from uh obviously the amount of tanks you're gonna be facing i just think tara's gonna be really good especially on a small map as well it's gonna be really easy to constantly cycle these supers over and over again so i believe she's gonna be really good on this mode just look at this it's like no room for the enemies to move i could just push up straight away get free super on this bow which would take him down uh the only unfortunate thing about tara is her reload speed and obviously, you only respawn with a third of your ammo. So in that case, it's not really the best. But literally, just because of how good she is with her super, she should be pretty good. So I'm going to get absolutely wrecked here. Fortunately, my teammate's not playing entirely the best. Uh, that primo, okay. These guys are dunking on us. Maybe I need to take some tips off these guys. Five points down already. That is not what you love to see at all here. It's like our Rico's going to super kick that up. These guys are spinning it as well. Not too sure why, but... Yeah, as I was saying, it's probably the main reason why I think Tara will be so good. So I should be able to get the goal in here. Oh, that's just going to bounce out. Okay, rip. I mean, regardless whether we lose or not, I just know for sure Tara is going to be a pretty decent ruler on this map. I wasted my super dead. One thing you definitely don't want to do with Tara is probably super shot it in because of how long it takes to get a super. You want to preserve that and uh, try and cycle your supers. Nice kill from the Rico here. We should be able to score if he passes it out wide. Again, the main tip here is to try and consistently go down the sides and shoot it in. It's going to be a lot easier. I'm lagging here. I'm going to get taken down. If you guys didn't know, there was just a server maintenance. So, uh, prepared for the servers to not work at its full potential. So, here, I'm just going to super the primo, get him out of here. So, that's what I'm talking about. You just get a free kill off of a respawn every single time because you've got that respawn bubble and they haven't. So, actually, a legitimate tactic from this uh, both. Cornering the ball and putting mines in the corner. That is pretty toxic uh strategy right there so i'm gonna double pull here so look at this value here my teammates should be able to help me out hopefully he's able to score this okay that frank super actually is pretty toxic let's see if we can get the ball out i'm gonna pass this up to mortis i don't know really where he's going but regardless we're gonna be losing this first game a lot of lag my pulls just yeah that was a tar pull right there but yeah, that's going to be the first game right there. I think Tara is going to be a really good brawler inside of Basketball. Let's hop into number four. All right, guys, so jumping into the fourth best brawler, I believe, in Basketball is going to be Gale. So Gale, I think, is going to be really good in all these new game modes. Not really the best in 3v3 mode, uh, but inside of this one, I think this is going to be where he shines. The main reason for this is a small map, and his super can cover so much of it. Just look at his super radius here, especially if uh, the enemies are running towards your basket. You can push them back really, really far. So this is what I'm going to love about Gale. So again, I could just push these guys away, take the ball and score. That is literally a perfect example of how Gale is going to be played. You can also put your launch pad in uh, unconvenient positions. So these guys are going to have to uh, go over the trap if they want to score. Hopefully our Primo is able to walk that in. He just misses. And also just missed out on the list as well. Uh, did just face it at Frank on the enemy side, but I think Frank's going to be really good on this mode just because of the amount of HP he's got. It's going to take a long while for the enemies to take him down. And again, another great example of how this Gale Super is going to be good. It's going to be really easy to just cycle these Supers. I'm going to try and score it in here with a free point. Oh, go on. Oh, it's bouncing. It's bouncing. Come on. Oh, it's so, it's so hard to actually predict where the ball is going to go in. Again, you just always shoot from the side. I can't seem to get it in when I shoot from the front. Uh, more see he's gonna fail there so you can just see these guys think they're gonna just score easily and i'll say nine times out of ten you're gonna be missing from that position wow primo popping off there that is exactly what you love to see let's see if he's able to score here no of course he's not i'm just gonna take it over here oh i was, I was looking to try and score that in so a minute left many of these games probably aren't gonna uh be at 10 pointers just literally because people don't know how to really score in this mode i'm gonna pass it up I'm hoping that our oh, Max can score it in. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I bothered passing to a Max called Crow. I, I, I don't know why I really expected there. Uh, but I did it regardless. I'm going to push this Primo away from the ball. Just look at that defense. I don't think there's any better defense in this mode. Maybe you like a Clet as well. I don't think I've got Clet on the list. But Clet can be really good because of the push it stop power as well. So there's a few brawlers out, of course. You can just play because they're good in the meta. And it's all about really 
Uh, just playing the mode, seeing what brawlers you face off against the most, and just trying to counter them, really. That's that's how the new game modes really work. Uh, Primo, he's going to jump in here. He probably, honestly, could score. Okay, no. 15 seconds left, so don't think it's going to be much change into this game. So just going to call it there. So that's going to be the fourth best brawler inside of basketball. Let's hop into it, number three. All right, guys, so jumping into the third best brawler currently, I think, in basketball, it's going to be Nita. So the main reason for this is that uh, Nita is a tank counter, and she also has a really fast reload. So two things that are going to be really good in basketball. The tank counters are going to be good. Tanks are going to be good. And also fast reloading brawlers. So Nita is going to be able to cycle her bear a lot uh, in this game mode. As I said as well, she just she's got a super fast reload speed. And if you can just constantly stick on the tanks, heal up this Bruce bear, it's going to be so annoying for them to deal with, especially when they have no ammo. I can imagine a full HP Bruce in their spawn is going to be pretty toxic. I imagine some stuff is probably going to change about uh, basketball, so stuff like that can't happen. So, I really like Jesse and Nita. Honestly, are pretty underrated brawlers in this game mode. And the Primo knows exactly how to score. Go down that side, and you should be having a good time. So, again, I'm just going to place my Bruce down. There's not a lot of brawlers that can really deal with this other than Primo. But again, he's still going to be feeding me my bear. Uh, Mortis, he's been dashing into me. And just fed me another Nita Bear. And even though it takes a while for me to get my super, it doesn't matter too much. Because uh, there's always probably going to be a Bruce on the field. Uh, let's see if Frank's able to stop us there. I don't even know what I died to there. Mortis, he's going to try and score here. And somehow fails, even though he's took the most time in the world to get that down. Oh, okay. How's that going in? I just wasted my Bruce Bear then. I thought that didn't go in. And I just wasted Bruce. Okay, I should be able to get it basically straight away. Though. We've got Primo jumping on us here. You're going to see a lot of El Primo as well, so I guarantee if you literally just use an El Primo counter, you should be able to have good results. So I'm going to take this to the outside, see if I can get a free pointer, and I'm able to do just that, guys. So as you can see, you're probably going to get some tips just off scoring uh, and positioning on this map, just from watching this mode anyway. So even if I'm wrong with the rulers, you should be able to go have a good time. So I'm just going to throw my Bruce in their spawn. I've got the shield as well. It's going to be an absolute pain to take this down for the enemies again like we're going to take this down but i've got another bruce bear waiting maybe even stun's probably better on this game mode i'm not entirely sure like the stun can obviously knock the ball out of them so maybe like that could be a legitimate star power choice let's see if i can get the score off here yeah i, I didn't really mind i've got my bruce still on the field and you just see how much <laughs> hp these guys are just running away from it because of how much it's actually doing to them Mortis, he's trying it, and that should be a GG there. So, yeah, Nita's going to be the third best brawler, I believe, in this mode. Let's hop into it, number two. All right, guys, so jumping into the second best brawler currently inside of Basketball, it is going to be B. So, the main reason for this is because B doesn't obviously have any ammo really to reload at the start of the round. She's a tank counter, and she's good at range. So, everything about B, she gets a super in, like, a few shots as well. Everything about her is going to be really good. So, I'm going to try and score from the corner here let's try and get a good position and that should be in nearabouts yes nice so you can see every single time i'm going down that uh, side with my super i'm basically scoring so really a uh, clutch feature about basketball frankie's just going to run it up here and you can just see the slows as well it's going to help our teammates out so so much b is definitely going to be op for sure you can't really uh, get inside of the enemy zone because of how squishy you are but of course, in a game mode like this, you're not going to have just three brawlers that are supposed to be scoring. You're supposed to have one that's good at defense, one that's going to be good at scoring, and probably just a hybrid brawler like a Nita or something like that. And you're going to be having a good time. So they, they managed to score a nice basket brawl there. It's really, really decent as well. I don't think I really have time to go uh, through the top one as well. But I think you guys know who the best brawler is. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it over with now. So like Primo. He's going to be the best brawler on this mode by absolute far. You know, he's he's able to uh, reload his armor really quick. He can just jump onto enemies at all times. He can cancel so many different supers. He's got his uh, gadget as well that's able to chuck the ball out of the enemy's hand. Just everything about Primo in this mode is just so OP. He's going to be his best brawler in the game and also for this mode. He's so, so good. And the fact that he has a lot of HP as well, he can also just sit in the enemy uh, spawn and just do absolute work so yeah i'm not going to be playing with primo you guys probably know how op is so b is going to be number two and primo is going to be number one uh so just for that record bb might be able to score there so even brawlers like shelly honestly can be half decent because at least off respawn if you've got your super you can knock the ball out of the enemy's hands sometimes somehow i just missed a frank even though he was stunned is he going to be able to score this in that would have been a bit embarrassing so i've basically stayed up the entire game here but my Teammates can't really get in position to even get a shot off. Hopefully, 
my bow is able to pass it off. It does go for the shot there, which isn't the best. I'm just going to slow this Frank here. Should be able to get a kill. Just see how much auto aim I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't think I've let go of my shoot one, just how much I've actually uh, done to these guys. But yeah, that's going to be the final game right there. But those are going to be the top five brawlers, in my opinion. Let me know of your ranking in the comment section below but i've said some really good suggestions uh for sure but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed i will be streaming this as well so make sure to check that out but yeah that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time